Hola amigos de Pulimetro, estamos aquí con Taka de One Ok Rock, que se presentará mañana en el Barranco Arena. Hi Taka, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Bueno, esta no es la primera vez que ellos vienen. ¿Qué recuerdo de su primera visita de Perú? This is not the first time you came here to Peru, so what do you remember from your first visit? Um, our first time, it was, um, I think it's two, three years ago, I thought. And um, I, we had a big stop ride, actually, because um, I've never been here, but um, our fans, that, like Peru fans, they were waiting for at the airport, and then they wants to like signing and like uh, take a picture or something like that. And, um, you know, like, it was really, really good experience. I feel like a little Justin Bieber. <laughs> But um, you know the the Peru fans like super like good emotional they have. So um, we did a concert just at one time, but um, it was really really good time. We had a great time, and then um, I'm really happy to come back to here. Bueno, él comenta que vinieron hace tres o cuatro años, que el recibimiento en el aeropuerto fue caótico, que se sentía como Justin Bieber porque los fans querían que le firmen los autógrafos. Y luego habla un poquito más de la presentación que tuvieron, que comenta que los fans peruanos son muy emocionales y que está contento por estar aquí de nuevo. Hablando un poquito más de tu, del nuevo disco Ambitions, ustedes trabajaron con Mike, con los chicos de Faisal con sus y con Abril Lavin. ¿Cómo fue la experiencia? Talking a little bit more about Ambitions, you work with Mike from Linkin Park, the guys from Five Cause of Summer, and also Every Levin. So how was the experience? How did you end up working with them? Um, Mike's, you know, that we met at the studio. Uh, they make in the new album um, at the same time. Uh, and we had, a, we had actually at the same time making a new album, like Ambitions. And, um, It was first time met with Linkin Park, but um, um, he just invited to me to the studio, and then uh, a few songs um, listening together, the new songs of Linkin Park, and then after that, I'm gonna play our new stuff, and then we have a very good some conversation, and he said like, um, if you want like some uh, some like, you know, if you need more like productions for a new album. I'm gonna put on it, and then I said, "Yeah, please, if you want." And then he's gonna just, you know, put on some like a new productions. Uh, the song was "One Way Ticket." That song is like uh, kind of little new things to me. Hi, this is Taka from One OK Rock. We have uh, some problem from bad connections, but we'll see interview pretty soon. You also have a song, in ambitions. It's called American Girls. Yeah. Why making a song about American girls? Um, when we finished the Make It new album, Ambitions, uh, our label, Field by Ramen, uh, the Field by Ramen guys say to me, you guys have to make it like more funny songs. And then I, I, I was trying to be like make it funny songs. Mm -hmm. But um, my personal... I'm actually not a like, I, I can't do like a funny things on the songs. So um, I'm trying to be like, you know, make it like some like little funny like lyrics and like, like catchy melodies and then like more punk rock things. And then, you know, just made it that the songs. It's, I'm not, I'm not really don't like the songs when I make it first time. But um, now it's getting used to it, like, you know, everybody's singing together. It's great. Bueno, él comenta que su disquera, Philip by Ramen, le dijo que tenía que hacer canciones divertidas, graciosas, y que a él al inicio le costaba hacerlo, pero luego se acostumbró y pues el resultado de eso es American Girls. Ahora que mencionas Philip by Ramen, ¿cómo es que llegaron a trabajar con ellos? Now that you mentioned that you mentioned your label filled by ramen, how do you end up working with them? I mean, how was they, they call you by contact? How was it? Um, filled by ramen is one of my favorite record company. 
And um, I, I was trying to be like, you know, some meeting with Rita by Ramen, but um, we couldn't do it the first time. And then after that, um, we're gonna, uh, we did a signing with Warner Bros. Um, and then, you know, if you saw, uh, I think it's just one album, like English version released in the United States. And then after that, um, the Warner Brothers guys, like uh, he, he just uh, um, uh, built up some meetings with Fredo by Ramen. And then um, we, we had a tour at the same time and at New York, they have some like um, big uh, building, like a Fredo by Ramen company building mm -hmm. in New York. We went to this, the companies and then we had a like a con good conversation and a good meeting. And then after this, they said like, you know, we want to work with you guys. And then I said, yes, please, yes. And um, I'm finally like, a dream came true. Manuel comenta que Fiolet Barramen es una de sus disqueras favoritas y que al inicio lo intentaron, pero no, no obtuvieron una respuesta positiva. En ese entonces ellos se encontraban haciendo un tour, fueron a Nueva York, al edificio, o sea, a las oficinas de Fiolet Barramen. Luego eh, estuvieron en una conversación y les dijeron quieren trabajar con nosotros y Taka dijo sí, por favor, y así es como ellos llegaron a firmar con ellos. And how's the experience of, of working with Phil by Ramen? It's great. Such a good time still. Like, uh, you know, my favorite band is all the time from Phil by Ramen. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really happy right now. Lo que le pregunté fue es cómo es la experiencia trabajando con ellos y dice que es muy alucinante, que está muy contento porque una de sus bandas favoritas es All Time Loud y ellos están ahí, entonces para él es muy genial estar en esa en esa disquera. I also know that you you said that you making a song about Chester, maybe a, a memorial or something like that. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, some interviews we I said like, you know, um Make, making a song for Chester, but I'm I'm not decided yet actually because I'm um when I like when I um uh, like you know thinking about Chester or, or Lincoln Park things like I'm still not feeling good so um maybe I need to take take more time and also but um you know his voice and in the Lincoln Park. That these things like stay in my heart all, always and, and, and until forever. So um, some days, but I'm, I think it's not a next time though. I figure, I figure it out. Bueno, él comenta que sabe que en unas entrevistas dijo que iba a estar haciendo algunas canciones sobre Chester, sin embargo, aún no, porque cada vez que lo recuerda, ya sea a él o a Linkin Park, aún le duele. Sin embargo, sabe que la voz de Chester era única, que se mantiene en su corazón y que si bien es cierto, aún no lo en el siguiente trabajo que ellos presenten no va a estar el tema de, de sobre Chester presente, pero que algún día. So now we we're going to talk about something happy because I know that Chester's topic put you a little bit sad. What do you expect for tomorrow's concert? I'm totally excited right now because um, the first time was was really insane. Like a pair of fans all the time singing together, and um, you know they know that like Japanese culture too, though. So um, it's very um, comfortable. So I want to make it more happy for like uh, the pair of fans, and also I want to make it more better, you know. Better than last time. Mm -hmm. I try. I try to be, like try to be a more good concert. Mm -hmm. Bueno, cambiando un poquito de tema a algo más alegre, le pregunté sobre sus expectativas para el concierto de mañana y dijo que estaba muy muy emocionado, que quiere superar la primera vez, que le gusta que los fanáticos peruanos sepan sobre la cultura japonesa y que canten con ellos. Uh, acorde a, a, lo, a las canciones y que está muy emocionada y que quiere hacerlo mejor que la primera vez. Could you 
say some message for our audience, Publimetro. Hi, this is Taka from One Oak Air Rock, Publimetro. I'm really excited on doing a show for tomorrow. And um, yeah, hopefully, like, we had a great time. We're having a great time. So see you tomorrow. <laughs>